Okay, so now we're going to look at how to get the uh, mean of some data. So we looked at how to import data, how to subset it, which will be useful here in a second. Um, but now like how to get the mean or pretty much a, a lot of different um, things from your data. So it's actually super easy to do something like the mean. Once you have this data imported, you just literally do mean and then give it the data and then give it the uh, column that you want to get the mean of. So Getting the mean of the gender doesn't really make any sense. Um, the argument is not numeric or logical. So you can't, you can't get the mean of a, um, of a string, really. It, it doesn't make sense. I mean, what's the mean of male or female? Female? You know, it doesn't really make sense. So, but we can get the mean of something like age. It's pretty easy. Um, we could also get the mean of the time. There we go. Now we can start combining this in uh, interesting ways. So we could get the mean of the data and, you know, get the mean of, you know, subset the data for just the males, right? And from that data set, get the age. So what's the median? Oh, did something wrong here. Hold on. Um, oh. Forgot my comma. There we go. 16.2. Um, and then let's copy this and let's do female. Uh, 16. All right. Okay. So, so what we did here basically is this is a subset of the data. It's just the males. And then we got the age. And so if we want to do this um, in a more, you know, step-by-step -step way, we could do males equals data. Remember, we did this last time. If, if this is confusing to you, um, watch the last video or look at the notes above here on how to subset data. And once again, forgot the comma. There we go. So we have the males now, and now we can get the mean of the males age. There we go. So 16.2, which is what we got last time. So you can see that um, up here, what we did is instead of like doing males and then age, we just plugged in the logical statement all in one step. Uh, but if that's a little bit hard to, for you to read, you can break it up into steps. It'll also be easier for like your professor or peers to read um, because they can go down and say, okay, oh, what is this? They don't have to like read the logical statement and say, oh, it's, okay, it's the males. They can just look at it and say, oh, it's males. Okay, males age. This is the median age for the males. They can read it super quick like that, which is why it's really important to use good variable names. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Another way to do it, if you just do summary data, right, you get all sorts of stuff. So you get a summary. So you can see here we don't get the mean for gender because it doesn't make sense. But for age, we get the mean right here. We get the median. We get the minimum and the maximum. And the first and second quantiles, which uh, quartiles, I forget. Um, still learning about that stuff, but uh, you can look that stuff up if you want. But this gives you a few more uh, points about the data than just one thing. And you can still do the same thing here. You can subset the data. So age over 15. Oops, here we go. Oh, and what did we do? Comma. I'll, I'll forget it every single time forever. But uh, there we go. We can see the, the um, it changed a little bit. So obviously the minimum age can't be any, any lower than 16 because if it was 16, it wouldn't be greater than 15. If it was 15, it wouldn't be greater than 15. It would be 15. So it has to be 16 or greater. So the minimum is now 16. Um, so you can see that you can get the summary as well with a subset of data. Uh, so yeah, that, that's how you get the mean. That's how you get um, the summary. Uh, this is what the summary gives you. Um, I'm not actually sure. I can't remember. What does this do? If you just do data. Oh, that, that just gives you everything, but it doesn't give you um, this stuff. Now, another interesting thing is a little bonus here. Uh, dot name or no names. I think it's a function names data. Yeah, there you go. If you want to see like the, the header for, you know, what's in this data set. Okay. It looks like we have gender, age, and time. Okay. So that's useful. I use that a lot, but uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you.